So now that we've talked about the mole, let's talk about molar mass. Okay, molar mass is the mass of one mole of any substance. Okay, and its units are grams per mole, the number of grams in one mole. So let's see if we can figure out the molar mass of sodium acetate. It's just the mass of all of the atoms in a substance. So this has one sodium. So I look and I see that sodium weighs 22.99. We're going to round all of these off to a hundredth. Okay. Plus there's two carbons. So it's going to be 2 times 12.01. Plus there's three hydrogens, and each one weighs 1.01, .01, plus two oxygens, and each one weighs 16.00. So if I add all of that up, I get 82.04 grams per mole. So we just add up all of the atoms and the numbers of them, and you figure that out. So three more examples. There's two hydrogens, so if you look up hydrogen, it weighs 1.01, .01 plus oxygen is 16, so we get 18.02 grams per mole. Okay, ammonium chromate, there's two nitrogens, and each one is 14.01 .01 plus eight hydrogens, and each one is 1.01, .01, plus chromium, which is 52, plus four times oxygen, which is 16. So if we take all of that and we add it together, we get 152.10 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of ammonium chromate. Last one, 137.33. That's the mass of barium, plus there's two nitrogens, so 2 times 14.01, .01 plus 6 times oxygen, or 16. And if we add all of that up, we get 261.35 grams per mole. Okay, well then let's see what we can do with this. So let's say, how many grams is 2.45 moles of CO2? So let's start by writing down what we're given, 2.45 moles, and I want to change moles to grams. Well, I know that one mole weighs whatever the molar mass of CO2 is, which if you add it up, you'll get 44.01, because there's 12.01 .01 plus 2 times 16. So there's 44.01 .01 grams, in one mole, so if I multiply that out, I get 108 grams of CO2. So if I had 2.45 moles of CO2, it would weigh 108 grams. How many moles is 45 grams of H2O? So I start with my 45 grams, and I'm going to change grams to moles. And now one mole weighs whatever the molar mass of that is. 2 times 1.01 .01 plus 16 is 18.02 grams per mole. So there's 18.02 grams for every one mole. So if I divide that out, I get 2.50 moles. And that's how we can use the molar mass in some problems.